Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my Project Wax. I actually finished up a lot of candles, so I have a lot of replacements to show you, and then I have some progress on the other candles in the project. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I finished because that is the most exciting to me, and I know that you guys will wanna see that too. So the first thing that I finished up is actually Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. This one um, was right here last time I updated you guys, and then I got down to here with just burning it. Um, but it was actually really sooty and um, every time I would burn it, it would be like super sooty smelling and it had been that way probably since about the halfway point. So I just finished it up on the warmer. You can tell like the wicks shifted a little bit. Um, I finished it up on my new candle warmer or candle crock. Um, and yeah, it was pretty good, very light on the crock. Um, but in general, this candle is kind of a medium light thrower anyways, but I really enjoyed this candle before it started to get sooty. Um, the notes are a comforting vanilla fragrance that evokes the sweetness of a homemade marshmallow with essential oils. I've started to realize that I actually do like marshmallow scents from Bath & Body Works. Um, I had a peppermint marshmallow candle and then this marshmallow, so I think I really am enjoying marshmallow scents from Bath & Body Works. And this one was really nice because it had that vanilla um, aspect to it. You, I can't really even smell it that much anymore. but. It was a really good candle. I definitely would consider getting it again. Another empty is White Caramel Cold Brew. You guys know this is one of my favorites and um, it was actually like right here before I finished it up in the last update. Um, I really burned it I think one or two more times and then it, it was done. It like dead it out. Um, but this is one of my favorite scents. Uh, the notes are cold brew coffee, vanilla sweet cream, warm caramel drizzle. It really just smells like caramel. Um, I actually kind of got sick of this though, which is really sad because it's my favorite scent. I got a little sick of it near the end, um, which is like really sad for me because it's my favorite. I think it's just because I was trying to use it up like so much. So I'm going to cool it with the like caramely candles for now, um, but yeah, it was really good. I love this scent. Definitely going to get it again. I actually already have a scent that's like super similar whipped coffee. so. There's that. And then the third one that I finished up is Goose Creek Let's Stay Home. This was kind of a like cashmere blend candle. I'll put the notes down here from the website because they don't put their notes on the bottom. Um, but this candle was a really good performer. Oh, by the way, let me say the performance of White Caramel Cold Brew. This was a very high thrower, <laughs> like really, really, really strong. Um, this one was kind of like a medium high. Um, because I would usually only, I only ever bring this in my bathroom. Actually, it's only been in the project for like two months. This was the progress, um, in one month and then the next month. I only ever burn this in my bathroom because I didn't actually like the scent too much. Um, but now it kind of reminds me of a clean bathroom, so I kind of like it now. Um, I don't even know how to describe this scent, but look, it got all the way down to the wax clips and then it just like stopped. Um, I mean the wick clips and then it just stopped on its own and yeah, there's some residue on the side But that really doesn't bug me too much. This was like a really good performer um, Not sooty at all um, It smelled super strong like it would waft from our bathroom over there like through the hallway um, And into my room, so it smelled really good. It definitely had a good throw um, Yeah, it was a pretty good candle. I think I would consider getting the three weeks again next year for like fall time so that's that one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what I'm going to be replacing them with. So to replace White Caramel Cold Brew, I actually did put in whipped coffee, but I think I'm not, I put this in like right whenever I finished this one, but I think I'm not actually gonna replace them. I burned it once and like I said, I kind of got sick of it. It also was super sooty, but this is definitely like a high thrower. And I kind of was just like not having it, like smelling it right now just made me kind of nauseous so we're gonna cool it on this one for a little bit until I'm like back to wanting it um so not putting that one in just yet I thought I was going to but I'm not instead I'm actually gonna do fried apple sh sugar from Goose Creek I think this one is mainly gonna sit in my bathroom I already went ahead and marked the line of where it's at I used it maybe a few times when I got it in the fall it's like a super sugary sweet scent like very sugary sweet. And when you smell it on cold, it smells like plastic. But when it's burning, it doesn't smell like plastic. It does smell like apple sugar. Um, super sweet scent. So I think I'm really just gonna mainly burn this in the bathroom. Um, I don't know how like a sweet scent is gonna do in the bathroom, but I guess we'll just see. 
it's not my favorite um definitely won't be getting it again but i do kind of just want to finish it up and then to replace let's stay home i am putting in ice blueberry biscotti i'm so excited i burned this last night actually so i already have progress on it but um this was the line before i burned it last night and now we're down to here so i guess i'm gonna go ahead and update it so there's the progress so far um the notes on this are sugar blueberries sweet vanilla icing almond biscotti and brown sugar definitely reminds me of like a combination between um strawberry pound cake and ice no uh blueberry pie blueberry pie and strawberry pound cake that's exactly what this smells like a combination of the two super good i do kind of miss blueberry pie from last year when i had it so i'm really excited to be burning this and to like have a nice like fruity gourmand scent so very excited about this one. Okay, and then to replace vanilla bean marshmallow, I'm gonna put in pomegranate lemonade. Very excited about this one. I've heard great things. Um, I did actually burn it last night for the first time, but this is where I'm at. Pretty much unburnt. Um, well, no, I burned it last night, so burned once. Um, the notes are juicy pomegranate, zested lemons, and sugar crystals. So I do have one qualm about this. It kind of smells like burnt uh, plastic. It smells like burnt plastic when I burn it. When I burned it last night. I definitely get like the amazing juicy pomegranate sugar and lemon. Like, oh, it smells so good. But there's burning plastic. That's what it smells like. So I don't know if it's maybe the packaging. Maybe my wicks are bad. Like, look how skinny and tiny they are. I don't know. So I think so far I'm okay with like looking past the burnt plastic smell. But if it gets a little overwhelming, like even just smelling it just now on cold was kind of jarring. I might go like exchange this for maybe like raspberry mimosa or something or a different lemonade scent that they have out now. I'm really sad that it smells like this because I've heard so many good things about this candle. But I think I might have gotten a bad batch or something. I don't know. It smells like burning plastic. It's like really, really strong too. So... Like, I smell that just as much as I smell the actual candle scent pomegranate lemonade. So, it's it's kind of bad. I don't know. It makes me really sad because... Ooh! Because I really wanted to love that one. Um, I think I just got a bad batch. I'm really sad about that. So, there's that one. Okay, moving on to the ones that I have progress on. We have Strawberry Pound Cake. She's getting lighter and lighter. So let me go ahead and mark where we are at. I did burn this a few times since the last update. So we have a little bit of progress, not too much. Um, this is the progress so far from here to here. Um, it didn't really pull out all the way last time. I'm not really sure. I had a cotton ball it too. So I think these wicks are like the ones on Pomegranate Lemonade. They're super skinny and small. So, But I love this scent. It smells so good. Fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Smells delicious. Literally love this so much. I think I'm going to have to pick up another one at SAS. It's so good. And the packaging is really, really cute too. So definitely been loving this one. And then I have sugared snickerdoodle. This one I've been burning in conjunction with white icing cinnamon roll from Goose Creek, which is also in this prog project. But I don't have it to show to you because it's actually on my... Uh, candle crock right now and so I can't lift it up because the wax is all melted but I've been having it on my candle crock for like three or four days now and uh, burning it burning this in combination with that it smells like a bakery in my room it smells so good um, so I think that Goose Creek candle will be done very shortly because that is in the project too um, it'll probably be done by the end of the week. So that you'll probably see in the empties soon. But yeah, uh, sugared snickerdoodle is warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. This smells very caramely to me as well. So I was kind of apprehensive to put this in. But I definitely love it. I've gotten a little bit of progress on it. Not too much. Um, I haven't really been feeling like cookie vibes recently i've been feeling more like fruity vibes so that's why i've gotten some progress on different fruity stuff and put more fruity stuff into the the um project the next thing i have is vanilla bean noel i've got a little bit of progress on this i have been burning it in my bathroom primarily um here is the progress pretty steady on here I think I might put this in the candle crock because um, Ashley Nicole here on YouTube, she put hers in her candle crock and said it performed beautifully. So I think I might end up doing that 
because it's super duper light like very very light even in my bathroom it's hard to smell so i think i might end up doing that but i really love this scent um it is vanilla bean marshmallow fluff and vanilla cake it's pretty much the same as vanilla bean marshmallow but with a little bit of a different like maybe caramel cookies in there as well so that's that's vanilla bean noel it'll probably go on the candle crock very soon and then I have my two single wicks that I have in the project, Eucalyptus Mint. I got some progress on. I burned this in the bathroom. Um, this is a really good bathroom scent, especially if you're doing like a pamper routine or a pamper night. Um, so this is my progress from here to here. Um, we are getting a little bit of wax residue, but honestly, that doesn't bother me so much. Um, yeah, I don't see a problem with that. And it's not super city. I probably need to trim the wick because it's got a little bit of a mushroom cloud at the top but it's like super 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 strong for being a single wick it is so strong same thing goes for champagne toast which i have in right now too i've been loving this it smells so good i don't know how i went this long without a champagne toast candle um i've used it in body care before but the candle smells so good and for a single wick i'll put it in my room and it smells the entire room so this is definitely like a high thrower for a for a single wick. Um, this is the progress I've made so far. I've burned it quite a few times. I've been really, really, really loving this. So that is the progress for everything in my collection right now. As you can tell, I'm like finishing off a few more things from fall and winter, and then it's pretty much just spring and summer from here on out. Um, let me know down below what you guys think I should do with this pomegranate, pomegranate lemonade. Do you think I should exchange it? Like the plastic smell is like really scaring me kind of, because I don't know if that's bad for me to breathe in. Maybe it was like something wrong with the batch or something. I don't know. Let me know down below. I know a lot of people love this. I'm like super sad that mine is not beautiful like everybody else's. It still has that beautiful smell just with like plastic burning right next to it. So it's kind of disappointing. But yeah, that is everything that I have for my Project Wax. Let me know down below some candles that you are obsessed with burning right now. Me, Champagne Toast, and Strawberry Pound Cake. They're my two favorites currently. So yes, very much loving them. And yeah, that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.